Hello, I'm Nigel Croft and this is TA for Traders on Tuesday the 21st of March. Um, we've already done a video today on the S&P which has broken downwards. That's had an effect on the commodity markets where we're seeing a price of gold rise. Now we're going to analyse in this video Brent because I think this is going to be a key for the markets going forward. And I think you'll see that it's more than likely that the Brent price is going to move down shortly. So this is the daily chart on Brent and you can see that we've broken down again today. Uh, now trading at 50.88. It's come back right to the twi to the support of the 200 day moving average, which is the red line. Um, you can see that the RSI, when we had the break a couple of weeks ago, broke down through the 50, indicating negative momentum. Has shown a small rise over the last week, but is going back down today. And really, one would expect that to go to a new low. Uh, the MACD are both ind indicative of negative momentum as well. On the longer term picture, uh, you can see the breakdown that we had two weeks ago. We're finding support now on the, the blue line, which is the 50 week moving average, um, which is giving the, the immediate short term support. However, here again, the RSI is tracking down. It's gone back below 50 this week at 45.12. And you can just see that the MACD is rolling over. So it really won't, one wouldn't expect the uh, supports to hold on that weekly chart. Is there any support from the short term? Right, here's the four, week, four hour chart on Brent. And you can see that the last, well, this just in the last hour, it started to have a bit of a consolidation. But the previous four hours showed the breakdown. We went through the, the lower boundary of the Bollinger, which is always a sign of further pressure in that direction. Um, you can see that from the, the lows a couple of weeks ago, um, the RSI has actually picked up, but has now broken the uptrend as we've gone lower today. Um, so that's back indicating negative momentum. And here again, we've got the MACD rolling. I um, mean, the support on this four hour chart is round about the 50.26, 50.3 area. One would expect on this four hour chart that to be tested in the next 20 hours of trading, I would say. Just going back to the daily. Um, sorry, that's the weekly. Uh, just going back to the daily to emphasize how, how important this 200 day moving average is to give support. You can see that five days ago it, it did give uh, very good support and the market bounced up from there. So let's wait and see. The other moving averages, as we pointed out in last week's video, are negative. You've had the 20 day crossing through the 50 day, both moving downwards, both negative. They will give resistance on the upside. The 20 day will give the immediate resistance at the 53.90 level. So be careful on any bounce. There is resistance. Um, just quickly looking at the daily. Uh, this is the daily levels, the uh, supports and resistances. And as I said, that 53.90 is very important for the resistance. That's the 20 day. Below there, there's a bit of resistance from the highs that we had last week, 52.62. The immediate supports coming from the 200 day moving average 50.71. Those very uh, smart uh, viewers will recognize that when we did the video last week on Brent, that actually we've got the same level. That 200 day is moving sideways. It's not moving up, it's moving sideways. Uh, but it should give support. And below there, there is support at the 50.28. So this has been a very quick video on the Brent oil price and um, it's at a key support level. Uh, the four hourly looks like we're going to test the supports there. Um, so be careful. Uh, remember, this information on this video is only for advice. It's not investment uh, recommendation. It's only my opinion and it's for education purposes only. Please do read the disclaimer that's coming on the screen. Thank you very much.